In this video, we're going to look at using Time Difference of Arrival TDOA, to determine the location of our rogue pulsing transmitter. Busy urban environments or areas with difficult topography can cause various issues for RF systems and direction finders in particular. Issues such as ground bounce reflections on buildings, hills, etc. can seriously impact direction finding results. TDOA, like AOA, is a method of geolocating the source of the signal. Unlike AOA, it does not rely on directional antennas or signal amplitude to find its target. TDOA uses the difference in time taken for a signal to reach a pair of receivers. Using this time difference, as well as the speed of light, we can calculate a hyperbola, or isochrone, of possible transmitter positions. If we have at least three receivers, we can create intersecting hyperbola, and where they intersect is the location of our transmitter. And because TDOA is not determining the transmitter position using amplitude or direction of the signal, it is less vulnerable to multipath reflections and not quite so dependent on direct line of sight. Okay, we have our network of nodes here, and I'm going to enable the TDOA mission. What we're seeing is a heat map. The colors represent the probability of the transmitter being at a certain location within this area. We can see here we have our hyperbolic lines, which are part of the TDOA calculations. Where those two lines intersect is the probable location of the transmitter. Let's look at the properties of this TDOA mission. Here, we have a heat map squelch. We can use this slider to reduce the size heat map, so we're only viewing the highest probabilities. It also reduces clutter on the screen. In the center, we can see the pink probability ellipse. It's saying that we are 90% confident that the transmitter is sitting within a 100 meter by 1 kilometer area. The size of this ellipse will change with different modulations which we're trying to track. The narrower the signal bandwidth, the larger the probability ellipse will be. I'm going to reduce this to be 50% confident. As I zoom in, you see we've still got the heat map, but now I'm 50% confident that the transmitter is in a 55 by 600 meter area. Also, if we have four or more RFI nodes in our network, we can locate the transmitter in three dimensions using 3D TDOA. If I turn on this option here, we can see the height of the transmitter is 105 meters above mean sea level. If we were tracking a moving airborne target, such as a fast jet, this piece of data would be essential in helping us understand the type of platform being used and its capabilities. With RFI site, all the geolocation data can be shared with other third-party packages and streamed over TCP. We can also record all this information and playback for later analysis. If you would like to learn more about TDOA geolocation, please get in touch for a more detailed demonstration. For more videos from CRFS, make sure to like and subscribe.